Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the Marvel DC Multiverse, and welcome to episode 290, and I'll be doing one topic, which is Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League Green Lantern has finally re been revealed. So, um, an image of the Green Lantern originally planned to be part of Zack Snyder's Justice League has surfaced on Twitter showing actor uh, Wayne T. Carr in full costume. So as part of a recent Q&A held by Cinemark Playa Vista, sorry, Vista uh, Zack Snyder showed a picture of Wayne T. Carr dressed as the famous Green Lantern John Stewart on his phone. Twitter user uh, uh, Ishan Sanga uh, has shared a screenshot of Snyder showing off the photograph. Um, the image with an image, sorry, the image within an image, um, nature means the quality is not great, but you can see Carr in the um, iconic green and black uh, costume. Uh, holding up his ring, his Green Lantern Power Ranger, of course. So we're likely not going to get to see an official version of this image as Jon Stewart was cut from Zack Snyder's Justice League on Warner Brothers' request. As reported um, by Screen Rant, of course, uh, the studio has intentions for future Green Lantern projects and so requested that Stewart was removed from Justice League as uh, to save that side of the DC uh, universe for other movies. Uh, Stewart's small role at the end of Justice League was replaced by Martian Manhunters, of course, um, played by uh, Harry Lennox. However, as Snyder showed at the Q&A, um, that change uh, came after his Justice uh, League reshoots had already uh, filmed the scene with Wayne T. Carr as Jon Stewart. Zack Snyder recently expressed his frustration with Warner Brothers, saying that the studio has been aggressively anti-Snyder. Um, to see, um, what they made in his four hour superhero epic, check out Zack Snyder's Just Sleep Review. So, um, you know, them being, you know, Warner Brothers being anti Snyder, I can kind of understand that, especially with the slight mistakes that were done in Superman. Sorry, in the Man of Steel and, of course, Batman vs. Superman. So, I can clearly understand as to why they're anti-Snyder. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That concludes this topic. Feel free to visit us like us on Facebook. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music app, Spotify, and, of course, YouTube.